Hello and welcome. So today is part two of the Sitka Spruce from Seed video. So we've got our seedlings here that we started last November. Just a standard multi-purpose compost. Certainly making the mix a bit heavier wouldn't hurt. So if you've got any topsoil, you could mix in with it. Maybe a bit of sand for drainage as well. We're just using what we've got. And we don't, we're not gonna put fertilizer in. And the reason is for us, we just want slow, steady growth in these trees. If we were a commercial Christmas tree grower, we probably would start using high phosphate fertilizers. This is it, this is the mix. And this is what gets us good results for what we want. And they've just sat in this pot all year. And the process is, we're just gonna tease them out as gently as we can. Saving as much of the root as we can. See, nice healthy roots in them. We're just gonna put them in here. The reason I'm using these cells is, well, I, I find it better for the conifers because they're so slow growing anyway. First two or three years, they're just gonna really grow quite slowly. And then after then, when they're in their final planting position, they'll start to take off and grow quite quickly. So I found these cells are a good compromise between space it means I can fit a lot more in while they're being tended in the nursery and still have something with a good root mass to plant out so they're going to sit in here for another one or two years um, I'll go ahead and do the rest of the tray off, off camera but that's really the process and then I'll show you some that are two or three years old that have been potted up and I'll show you them planted out nice healthy roots as with all the trees, you want to make sure you plant them no deeper than they already are. So where the roots first start is how deep they should be planted. The, the other place, the other destination for them is to go in straight in the ground as bare root, which has its pros and cons, which I won't go into. There are hundreds of articles and videos on that already. And it's a similar process. We've got some no-dig beds here. So all we've done is laid down some newspaper that's been down for about six months. Well, so it's not going to be weed free, but nothing too bad to come up in it. We'll literally just make a hole with our finger. Obviously for this to work, the, um, the newspaper has to be wet. It's a massive pain you've got to start cutting holes and using Stanley knives. So this is where I like to do it. Let me just go on down the row them in and the same as the potted ones we don't want to plant them too deep we want to make sure that we're just planting them where the roots start so they might seem a little bit shaky we'll see how they get on and a word of advice on pests deer will graze these in the winter if there's nothing else for them to eat which is why we've got some in pots but if you can and you've got a massive problem with deer or rabbits i would fence them fence them in if you can so that's the two different ways that we do it. Thanks for watching guys.